Hello you wonderful lovely bloody person you and thank you for joining me very much for another sordid dip in the tepid waters of YouTube tech shenanigans. Now this week's show is unfortunately going to be on the short and sweet side or to put it more accurately it's going to be short and just about as rancid on the tongue as always. And the reason for this diminished stature is twofold. First of all I've got some really big videos that are going to be going live next week that I can't even tell you about but I desperately need to finish them off. Tease 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 tease. And secondly it's actually my birthday this week. Uh, that's right I'm finally turning 21 becoming a man Ugh. so apologies gonna have to skip this week's tech news uh, not that there's a huge amount of particularly exciting stuff going on anyway as far as I can see and skip straight ahead to my favorite part of the show viewer comments and don't worry to make up for it next week's show will be so girthy it'll make you choke jingle all the way Techspert weekly and then straight on to the viewer comments jingle viewer comments <laughs> Uh, first up, Franklin Goodwin says, after speaking to my mum, she says she likes your eyebrows the best, Chris. Ah, a woman of impeccable tastes. She likes it big and bushy, eh? Uh, next up, I Man Omar says, is Realme a Chinese company? And if so, would it still have Google in the future? And would you recommend the Realme 6 Pro? Uh, yep, Realme is indeed Chinese. They're actually part of the uh, tech super umbrella group that includes Oppo and OnePlus. And I'd like to say that it's unlikely that Realme and the various other Chinese manufacturers are unlikely to lose their Google privileges like like unfortunately Huawei did, but it kind of all depends on whether Trump gets another four years in the Oval Office to further escalate his various grudges. And frankly, the state of the world right now, who knows, World War Three is probably just around the fricking corner, so yeah. And that, kiddies, is why I drink booze. Uh, next up, Michael comments, uh, they say if you say Motorola three times, one of their handsets gets released. Um, or is that Beetlejuice? I get confused. You know, that seems uh, seems legit, definitely. If you see it three times into a mirror, uh, the Mortal Man pops out and he gives you a right good kicking in the coconuts. A bit more anime action in the comments again of course. Uh, Jason says Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, that's my favourite anime of all time. I uh, never watched that spin-off unfortunately. I watched a bit of the original but just too many episodes man. It's the same with like Bleach, Naruto or anything. Anything with like dozens and dozens of episodes, I just can't do it man. I'm not saying I have a life for anything because I quite clearly don't. Uh, I just don't have the patience for it. Uh, Liam Short for William says, what's your take on classic Akira or are we headed there? I think we're pretty much there aren't we? I remember thinking the film was a bit mental uh, but I did go out and uh, hunt down some of the actual original manga uh, from the library of all places they had quite a few of the volumes but I think I got to about volume three and then realized they didn't have volume four uh, which is really freaking annoying but frankly the fact that Sunderland library had any books at all is pretty much a miracle I've got to admit I mostly just went there to rent DVDs and CDs uh, there was also of course lots of hot game and phone talk last week as well if you missed it you really missed out on a treat for uh, GLC took uh, offense to the fact that I said the rog three isn't much of an evolution over the ROG Phone 2. Uh, what? He says, it has a 5 megapixel macro camera that everyone was asking for. Yes, good old macro lenses, yeah, definitely worth £1,000 asking price for that bad boy. Uh, and no, I don't think it was being serious on that one. Uh, but on that subject, Shilvio says, ROG Phone 3 costs way too much. Um, yeah, you're definitely going to have a limited audience with that sort of asking price, especially for something as niche as a game and smartphone. Uh, basically, the ROG Phone 3 is for, what, rich kids and drug traffickers, and that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, Joshua asks, are you going to review the upcoming Red Magic 5S and do you have any news about the Black Shark 3S? Uh, Red Magic 5S definitely a fact. I think I actually launched it officially earlier this week, but they did contact me a couple of weeks ago uh, to say they would be sending me a unit, so fingers crossed soon. I think they said it would be coming next month, so that would be good. As for the Black Shark, no official word from Xiaomi on that bad boy, but you can expect it to launch pretty soon. It'll have a couple of updates over the original, like for instance the A65 Plus chipset to bring it in lines with the likes of the ROG Phone 3 and that mental Lenovo Legion phone. Except hopefully it'll be a bit cheaper than both of them so uh, we won't have to harvest too many orphan organs in order to get one. And on the subject of the Lenovo Legion Duo that should be coming in in September so stay tuned for more on that. Uh, next up Stefan says other than watching every video that you make is there a way to support you? Maybe a t-shirt that says it's the Pixel 4a update or viewer comments, dear God help us all. Well, actually, now that you mention it, I do need a babysitter to look after my mental five-year-old kid, uh, if you're up for that. Uh, but no, seriously, just watching the rubbish that I churn out on a pretty much daily basis is definitely very much appreciated and a great help indeed. And if you know anyone who's looking for tech advice, is looking for a new smartphone or whatever, then definitely point them this way. Again, would be very much appreciated. Good old Uncle Spurt will come to the rescue. Uh, next up, Lupin says, for the dude that asked for a mid-range phone with stereo speakers and no pinhole cam, I can recommend the Asus Zenfone 6. 
Um, yeah, that's technically accurate, although to be honest, that top speaker on the Zenfone 6 was weaker than a toddler's fart, so it was definitely the bottom end that was really producing the grunt of the sound. And also it's a real, real crying shame, but the Zenfone 6 is an absolute twat to get a hold of these days. You just can't find it anywhere. Uh, oh, excuse me. Which is a real shame because it's a really freaking good phone. And on that note, Joe asks if there's any sign of the Zenfone 7. Sadly, no, not a sniff just yet, which is a real shame, hopefully really, really soon, because that Zenfone 6 was definitely one of my favorite smartphones of last year. Probably helped that my expectation levels weren't exactly sky high, but yeah, great stuff. Uh, next up, Mark says, settle a bit, are you a Mackham or a Geordie? Uh, I am a Mackham, for anyone who doesn't know what that means, it means I come from Sunderland, not Newcastle, which is where the Geordies come from. I know that a lot of people see Sunderland as like the poor neighbor of Newcastle, but you know, we got some stuff going on, it's pretty happening. Um, we've got uh, the Glass Museum, for instance. We've got about a dozen Greggs. And what have the Geordies got? Some wooden tit with wings. Uh, next, Matthew says, God, I miss the Windows Phone OS. So many new ideas that have been swallowed up by iOS and Android, claiming them as their own. Shame the phone hardware was not up to par, the lack of promotion from Microsoft, and of course, the big hitter was the utter lack of apps that killed the OS off. Um, yeah, the app situation certainly wasn't great, just could not compete against iOS and Android by any stretch of the imagination, uh, which is, I'm really, really intrigued by Huawei and whether it can really make the app gallery work out. It's certainly got huge amounts of investment that it's chucking at the thing, so fingers crossed. As far as the hardware goes though, I really, really like those old Nokia Lumia handsets. They were pretty much the Motorola uh, back in the day, producing about 12 a freaking month, which kept us all very busy indeed. Nice spangly colours and everything, and I remember we all uh, lost our shit at the, uh, the Nokia Lumia 1020 with this wild and crazy 41 megapixel camera. Mental! In fact, I still remember the launch of that really vividly, because it was at the O2 Arena in central London and uh, they'd organised for us to climb up to the top of it to take, uh, you know, crazy shots of the London skyline. Uh, but it was going to take about two hours to get us all set up and ready, so we ended up just buggering off to the pub instead, which I feel kind of bad about now, but uh, yeah. Uh, next up, Jamie says, in the light of eye-watering prices for flagships these days, do you think that mid-ranges are the way to go? Yep. And Matthew asks, any word on the Microsoft Surface Duo? Uh, well, I've heard diddly squat from Microsoft myself. I call it the website. It's still coming holiday 2020, whatever that means. Um, I mean, I don't know about you, but basically the whole of 2020 has felt like a holiday to me. Just, you know, sod off work, uh, put your feet up, smash through endless Netflix box sets. Don't even bother changing your pants because it's just you, the wife and the cat who's going to smell them anyway. Celebrate good times, come on. Uh, Jedi Polar Bear says, have to love the further use of Roger's Profanosaurus. Your reviews are just epic. It's like the last surviving member of Last of the Summer Wine ranting to himself. Bloody Jesus, I don't look that old, do I? And on that subject, is there actually a last standing member of Last of the Summer Wine? A Last of the Summer Wine standing, if you will. Uh, right, sorry my pretties, I have to fly now. And by fly, I mean basically hunch myself over a laptop for 12 f***ing hours and edit video into my eyes bleed out of my skull. But thank you, thank you, thank you so much to everyone who watched last week's show and commented, and thank you for watching this show and making it to the end. Apologies again that it's a short one. Uh, so hopefully make up for it next week if I'm not absolutely swamped again. And the good news is next week there is some big stuff coming up on TechSperts. Obviously Samsung's launch is happening on the Wednesday. We've got a few other sneaky little bits coming here and there as well. All very hush hush, all very secret, but uh, make sure you poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell and you'll be the first to see all that sexy, shiny, spangly content going on live next week. Please do throw me your questions, comments, whatever you want to direct at my face down below and have yourselves a lovely weekend people. Cheers everyone. Love you.